Hello bearded bee people, and astronomy people hopefully. Uh, welcome back to BKB's, B and KB. I want to kind of bring attention to the fact that uh, I have another channel. Um, it's called B and K Science and Astronomy, and I have not really paid a whole lot of attention to it um, recently. But I want to more, and I intend on doing that more, and so I would like for any of you guys that are interested to head over there and uh, join me, and we will do a lot of astronomy videos, astronomy and general science videos, but as you can see by this contraption, um, I am an astrophotographer, so I take pictures of the really far away, the really faint. Uh, tonight, I'm hopefully going to finish my project on what's called the Markarian's Chain. And it's a chain of galaxies that kind of make a nice Nike swoosh in the southern sky uh, here in late spring. It's kind of getting a little bit low in the sky to be finishing this project, but uh, I think a couple more hours of integration time tonight will make it turn out uh, pretty well, hopefully. What I have so far is good, but not good enough, so I just want to add a little bit more data to it. Um, there's a tiny sliver of a moon that I don't know if you're going to be able to see behind me, but uh, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. What is more of an issue that I'm concerned about are those wispy clouds. Um, so hopefully they hurry up and get the heck out of here. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is start cooling, uh, my camera. And, uh, what that means is essentially I'm just cooling the sensor, uh, down to hopefully 10 degrees, uh, below zero Celsius. Uh, and that's to keep the noise level really, really low. When you're, uh, offering energy to these camera sensors for extended periods of time, the temperature goes up. And with the temperature, the read noise goes up. And so the grainy uh, aspect to a low-light image gets grainier and grainier as that temperature goes up and up and up. So what I have is a fancy astrophotography camera that I can, uh, that I can cool uh, pretty, pretty effectively. It's uh, kind of muggy, but I should be able to cool it sufficiently. If I can't, then I'll keep it at five, deg five degrees below... Um, Either way, though, let's get it cooled. It says the sensor is at 21.2 degrees Celsius right now, which is times 2 plus 32, right? So, 42, 70-something, 70 71. Um, so, it'll probably take a while to get down to 10 degrees below. And like I said, I might not be able to reach that temperature. And if I can't, then I won't fret about it, but I will, uh, I will give it a shot. Obviously, it's not dark yet, so I'm not in any major rush. So, yeah, uh, originally on this new channel, I had intended on doing astrophotography videos and then some, as I had mentioned, some general science videos. Um, I have, like, a passing interest in rocketry, so I would very much like to get more into that and dive deeper into that um but uh, i have a lot of expensive and time consuming hobbies one of which uh turned into a business and that's the most time consuming thing that uh that it keeps me occupied during these months more occupied than i think i can be to open the rocketry uh door again so either way, though, that, that might be in the works uh, in the future. Who knows? Um, I do hope that you join me over there, though. And I also hope that I have a cool image to show at the end of this video. Yeah, join me over there, and I'll talk more about the whole setup and all of the processes that go along with uh, making an astro photo. So enjoy this image. Thanks for watching. Get out there and have some fun with your beads. See ya.